Good morrow to all. Here at Shelley Vision, we are chin-wagging about our inquiries into fairies, pixies, elves, popping up at various places in the Shire. The first conclusion which we reached was all the areas were owned by the On Civil Service. The second was how folk were charged a fee to enter the area to gawp. I asked how Raspin and his pals knew what magical chaps would appear where. Later, over a cup of coffee, Mello stated how she found it suspicious. Others in the studio tended to agree, and I ventured that this was simply a money-making bit of nonsense, dreamt up by Marshmallow and Raspin. Returning to our show, featuring Drivel and Twaddle's tube train, I was so flabbergasted by the train whizzing along that I can't remember ever being so ghasted before. <laughs> I asked the intrepid inventors to show me how to create my own train. Last but not least this week, T.O.T.Z. Top of the Zines is... Ta-da! Watching Tube Trains by Drivel and Twaddle. If you want to make a tube train, you will need the following items. 1. Copper wire. 2. Battery. AAA or AA or C will do. 3. Two neodymium magnets, which must be larger in diameter than the battery. I have all the components, so fun can start. To make the tube, we suggest winding the copper wire round a broom handle, making sure that the tube is large enough to allow the train to pass through it freely. Place one of the magnets on top of the battery and one on the bottom of the battery. Place the train inside the copper wire tube and join the ends of the tube together. Then watch the train whiz by. As I sit here watching trains, I bid you ta-ta till next time. Imagination, hold on, hold on.